Hello, welcome back to King's Story. We're here on the third floor in this uh, opulent room, uh, opulent lower hall. And uh, we'll try, we just came up to Dumbwaiter. Just trying to find where to go next. Now that does take us to the fourth floor and above, um, but doesn't actually take us usefully further down because we need a key that we don't have. I think I knocked out this guy already, yes. So, I discovered two things. I got very stuck and wandered around for a long time and discovered two things. One is there's a key to this uh, sort of tower area that is right there. And uh, kind of inaccessible. Unless I make a bit of noise and do a bit of vandalism. And then, using my th arrow skills, uh, turn the key in the lock with an arrowhead. Where's this footsteps are here? Oh, he heard the. Yeah. Oh, your ears. Ah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. He heard the glass breaking. I might have to make sure the door's shut before I do that again. Let's just make sure. The door is shut. You heard it anyway. Well, let's shut this door as well. You shouldn't be able to hear it. No reaction, right? No reaction? Good. Good. Alright. So, if I shoot the key, uh, it's an impressive application of torque, but uh, apparently it works. Then, this door opens, and I now have the tower key. It's good, because this now gives me access to every floor, uh, and I can get back down to the, well, not the second floor, but I can get back down to the ground floor. Uh, later, which I'm going to need to do. So that was one thing I was struggling with, is how to get back down to the lower floors. The other one problem was, in this next room, there's uh, these people just standing around waiting to have a conversation, but they're not going to have it just because I want them to. Um, but maybe if I can sneak behind this screen, somehow, I could listen to them from there. So why don't we try that? This looks like a suspicious bit of wall, and there's a suspicious switch right there. Again, I had to look up the forums to find out why the conversation wasn't triggering in order to figure any of this out. Oh, that's not a light switch just there. I'll take that. All right. So now we can sit. Ah, oh, there's the lights. Lights are off, we can now listen. That's more like it. Perhaps. Well, the king's stuck, the doctor's stuck, and he's busy walking. 
Um, return to the ground floor, find the valet and steal the ceremonial key from him. Maybe I don't need to worry about them if I do that. So let's try doing that. Find the ceremonial key from the valet. Um, Right, so let's make another hard save now that we've got past one scripting problem. So that is the bricked up second floor. And there's another set of curtains just around the corner here. Which, actually I have the key, now that I've got that tower key, here we are. Open again, this brings me back to the library sort of place that I was in before. Uh, which one way back to the ground floor. Did I hear somebody? Here's another way back to the ground floor. So the valley was supposed to be trying to figure out why the ground the way doesn't work? Well I can see why it doesn't work. around for him. Somebody wearing blue sash and in fact somebody still conscious is probably sufficient because I think I've knocked everybody else out. I'm just pausing every now and again to listen for footsteps. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, there's another place down here, isn't there? That's the stables. Which is also locked. But I can go that way later, I guess. Oh! Hang on, is that Mr. Blue Sash? That's Mr. Blue Sash, look at him. Uh, how do I get there? Cause I still don't have the key for that door. Do I just drop down again? I guess I can just drop down again. <laughs> Is this a thief I see before me? Guards! No, you Guard! don't. <laughs> What are you doing in the engineer's room, huh? Right, so I've got his key. And, uh... I didn't want to turn the light on, I wanted to... didn't want to shut the door, I wanted to read this verse. Somebody found the body, but I don't know who. Maybe it was the rats or buddy. Alright, I'll wait for him to come back out and then bop him on the head. He should be out pretty soon, I think. Is someone there? Nope. <coughs> Come sit by the gate here. Now hopefully that doesn't cause me to fail the mission. So I've got the valley's key, which should give me access to a lot more of the third floor. Stuck it from this way. Yeah, because I can't open that door. Hmm. 
recognize the stables. So I still need, I might as well just leave it right here. Well, unless unless somebody does happen to come past, because then they find you suspicious. Uh, no, whatever. Right, so now I have the values key, I can explore the more of the third floor. Uh, this stairway? No. Which stairway is this? Oh, maybe. I mean, this one was locked. That's the second floor, the part that was already done. And there's a locked door up here, right? That's bricked up wall. Yeah, okay, I can get through here now. Ooh, this is... Interesting. Okay, bye both. Where am I here? This is 23 Grotto. I mean, it's a grotto. Aha, so this is where I was listening to the conversation. It's where those gentlemen used to be having their discussion. I can read this note! Your Majesty! You've tasted the forbidden fruit already. Now, having been initiated, I'm sure you can imagine the opportunities that lie before you. It may be sacrilege, but the King's power will be nothing in comparison. You'll still need a specially prepared potion to undertake the transformation, but it's only required for a transitional period of time. Later, when you feel the full effect, the new strength will be inside you, and you'll be able to do the transformation just using your willpower. And then, you'll have real freedom. A man's body is too imperfect to bring gladness to a person. I'm sure you've felt the difference already, and made your choice. With power, freedom, confidence, and absence of doubt, you are happy just because you live. This is the destiny of a real master of his fate. The alternative. The short life of a weak man, full of restrictions, conventions, troubles, and intrigues. The human race's attitude to individuals of our species is also one of conventional thinking, though I'm sure there is something similar to envy as well. Really, we are not mystical at all. We only have discovered a way of using little-known laws of nature, but most people have no idea of their existence. Myths surround us. Dependence on a full moon is one of those myths. In fact, phases of the moon do not influence the possibility or impossibility of transformation. The roots of this myth are very simple. The full moon is a useful method of practicing concentration. Firstly, though, it can be replaced by any other subject. And secondly, some people do not need any concentration. Your potential is great. Your existence will be unlimited, unrestricted by the phases of the moon or by time itself. The hell with conventions. We are above them, are we not? William. P.S. I've prepared a surprise and you'll see it during the premiere. Very likely, it will be the crowning moment of my career. So, uh, William is a werewolf and trying to get the king into werewolfery as well. Is that was that William that we saw? The strange creature I saw on the way in that uh, I guess looked like a werewolf. I didn't really think about it at the time. Uh, was that William? It may well have been. Alright, does this uh, valley's key open these doors that I couldn't open before? It does open that one. Yes. That one wasn't even locked. Alright, so we now have a little more access to this floor. Good. Well, it doesn't open that one. I haven't actually been in this room yet, I should loot it. Alright, let's just... this one here, okay. Alright, can't pick it, and the valley's key doesn't work. That is... King's Rooms. Huh. I thought the valley's key was supposed to do that, so maybe it opens that one. Let's find out. Okay, we've got the grotto. So again, a very nice cave. Uh, Conservatory. 
the fountain. That's one water crystal and a painting of the princess. Oh, there's a letter. Your Majesty, you are right. I do understand very well. The bonds of wedlock are indeed bonds, and it is natural that your creative nature opposes restriction. You are apprehensive that your own freedom is in danger, but nothing will threaten your creative personality. To tell the truth, it's strange to discuss freedom with you, a person of royal blood who has such little genuine freedom. And being such a small amount of freedom, it is most precious to you, and you will naturally fight hardest to keep it. But I am not the enemy. Lay down your arms, your majesty. My common sense tells me that there is nothing for you to be afraid of, besides your own excessive sensibilities. Your devoted Elizabeth. But of course maybe he's uh, holding back because of the whole werewolf thing rather than uh, because he's particularly concerned about restricting his creativity. All right. Ooh, valuables. Valuables that I actually can steal this time. Some of them. There is a legend that speaks of a hidden cave in the southwestern reaches of the Apples Mountains. These mountains are rugged with many deep gorges. Legend says that at the bottom of the deepest cleft there lies a mysterious cave known as the Green Grotto. Though a very few might survive a fall into those depths, surely they would perish there as they would be unable to climb back out. According to the legend, drops of water fall from the grotto's roof and gather in a stone basin worn over time into the surface of a giant boulder. Anyone who drinks this water will gain acute eyesight and inhuman strength for a short time but will also gain the appearance of a beast. He who drinks this water will be able to climb out and save himself, but ever after he will have no peace of mind because once he has tasted the freedom of the beast, he will not wish to be a man again. Fortunately or not, however, this legend has never been confirmed. So that grotto is uh, where we found all those bottles. Someone was collecting water that was dripping off a giant boulder and the bottles that I couldn't pick up were like the empty one I found. Okay, that explains, so the empty bottle that I found in the hut, that must be the werewolf we saw or something. I don't know. Hmm. But definitely, uh, what was going on there relates to what is going on here. Uh, so this is the salon. So this should take us to the king's rooms, right? Anyway. It's time to make my choice. What? Help me. Uh, we have a timed... Gabriel, Gabriel damn it, this is a trap, isn't it? Yes, it is, but not for you. That sounds encouraging. Things are in a bad way. However, you haven't taken the crown, and that is a good sign. It means you're on the right track and starting to understand. Understand what? That a person, a very high-ranking person, needs help. Your help, Garrett. That's for sure. The trap is going to work. Today, during the premiere. I don't know what that insane anger has planned, but I'm sure it will be something dreadful. Just a minute, just a minute. What does all this mean for me? It means that His Majesty Harold III is one of us. Yes, you're right. He's a thief, deceiver, hypocrite. Romantic. But I'm not a romantic. No, no. So you haven't taken the crown. It's not your cup of tea. What the hell is going on? William Anger, the royal favourite, composer of genius, the most intelligent man, is a werewolf. You're the werewolf, Gabriel. I'm only a butler, a de dedicated servant of his majesty, and I greatly need an ally, someone I can trust. And you believe you can trust me? 
Some members of the government are hatching a plot, the aim to strip the king of power. They are just waiting to see if the wedding scheduled for today will prevent them. The marriage could bring the king to his senses, but Anger will do his best to prevent the wedding. He has been keeping an eye on the king. Slowly he is trying to train him to become like himself. It sounds like stuff and nonsense, but the most important thing is how to wreck the premiere, to foil Anger's plans, never mind what plans, and then to watch. Nothing must stop the wedding, but the main purpose is to eliminate Anger. I don't gamble, Gabriel. Details. Very well. There's a chandelier in His Majesty's study. One of the candles never lights. Would you like to know why? Alright, just keep in mind, I make no promises. I won't need your promises, you're a man of deeds. Uh, new objective, steal the king's crowns. Cancel! Spoil Angus plans for the premiere, but don't reveal your involvement. Make sure that nothing prevents the wedding ceremony from taking place. Eliminate William Anger. Okay, well, like, apparently, stealing the crown was a thing I could have done then. Oh, I didn't even realize it. I just got a uh, countdown saying now was my time to choose. Uh, I was here, right? Yeah, I'll just make another hard save there so I can come back later and find out what happens if I take the alternative path. Uh, right, can I pick the lock on this? Apparently I can. How many stages does it have? Or is it just resetting itself all the time? Oh, that's just weird. Ah, uh, probably comes relevant later. Help me, help me. It was written there. Alright. So we are in... Uh... The dressing room, and he said one of the candles in the king's study. Is that here? I don't know, let's uh. Where's the valet's key? That one wasn't even locked. This is the king's bedroom. We'll take his uh, signet ring, why not, you know? Then we can sign letters for the king. That's Valley's key, Valley's key. Nope. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Key to Angus apartment. Your Majesty, forgive my presumption, but I would like to present you the spare key to my apartments in the North Wing. I realise that at any time you may wish to, for example, listen to music. I am sure you understand me. I would not want my absence, or indeed my presence, to affect your plans in any way. And in any case, I am your guest here and you are my master, William. So, if we go back to the first floor, uh, North Wing, so that must be Angus apartments are there that we couldn't get to. Okay. Healing potion, which I won't take right away because I need it. And three other potions which are not usable. Oh, there's the king's toilet. Now that's a throne. Nice. Um... It's just something that one of the candles in the king's study doesn't light. We have to look at these because they're all light. I don't know what he was. I have no idea what he was talking about. Oh, there's a door there. Um, 
power key. Oops. Power key doesn't open it. Does is there a switch? Oh. Wear light potion. Fill the bottle with water from the green grotto. Add some loot bean tincture. Mix together and place within range of William's musical resonance. Annotation. Ordinary spring water will not suffice. Evidently, the water leaking through the stones of the grotto is infused with rare chemical compounds. The quantity of lupine tincture itself is not important. The potion has an effect even without it. But there can be serious side effects even so far as to cause breathing to stop. The function of the music in the transformation is not clear enough. However, we suppose that the set of sound frequencies affects the structure of water and transforms it. And we are convinced that the musicians themselves need not necessarily play the music. The gramophone record has the same effect. The scorched recipe that was uh, cunningly hidden under the fire there. Oh, there's another note hidden in the fireplace. Your Majesty, please forgive me, but I have changed the code in the music lock again. Alas, it seems none of them are safe enough. It's a pity, but I'm unable to remember its combination myself and may well have even used it before. It won't be difficult for you to deduce it. You know the introductions to all my compositions so well. But I beg you, please don't write this note code on your notes as you have done before. You expose yourself to serious danger if you do, and I could not tolerate that. Your obedient servant, William. Nothing hiding behind this one then? No. That note was very well tucked away behind that uh, little statue there. But I was looking for uh, a way to open this door and not finding it. Anything on and around the writing desk? <laughs> Anything above here? Anything up there? No. Hmm. Nothing else in the fireplace, is there? Just this spot on the texture. Did I read that? Yes. Hmm. Okay, where are we? West of this room. Oh, is that that door? That might just be that door, not a secret door after all. In which case, that's fine, I don't need to worry about it. This one, however, I can't open. Even though there's apparently two entrances to it. Hmm. You could have told me a bit more about what was going on, couldn't you? No? All right, uh, spoil Angus' plans for the premiere, but don't reveal your involvement. Make sure nothing prevents the wedding ceremony. Eliminate William Anger. All right, so I have the key to Anger's apartments. But... If I want to stop... Um, I have the key for this door now. That one. Did I get this guard already? Yes. Um, last right, I need a key. I'm gonna have to go find William Anger. Find his apartments again. That's the third floor. Alright, that's the second floor. So this is unlike most of these levels, this one is numbered in the European style. We've got the ground floor. Then we've got the first floor, which is this stairway doesn't open, but the first floor is the one I'm interested in for the Uh, what is it? The North Wing. Not the Valley Key, that one. Oh, that door's already open. 
All right, so I need to go east, north, east, north, right. So I want the ground floor and I want the first floor. And this staircase I think is the one. And Angus Apartments. Huh, there's a wolf on the door. Or maybe it's a lion or a dog, I don't know. I'm mean, gonna say it's a wolf and say it's, it's a little unsubtle. I don't know what we're gonna find here. Probably somebody angry, right? Well, he doesn't appear to be there. скромно для королевского фаворита должно быть что-то еще Chapter 16, The Thorny Path to Fame. Some people were not always enthusiastic about my music. On several occasions they tried to ruin a recital, making noises, whistling, throwing tomatoes. Once, during a difficult time in my creative work, I lost patience and decided to avenge a particularly insulting episode. The idiots didn't even wait for the beginning of the concert before catcalling and whistling. And so, to teach them a lesson, we just let the curtain down again and announced that the beginning of the concert would be delayed for an hour. This infuriated the main audience, and they dealt very shortly with the perpetrators. Nevertheless, they did manage to wreck one of my later concerts. The ill wishes stole my score just before the premiere, and it was the only copy. But since that time, having had such a bitter experience, I always make a duplicate and keep it with me until the beginning of the concert. Now we do have uh, various notes, right? We had two notes with uh, FTCF and DF. FG is actually relabeled them. And the can can score. Uh, anyway, this guy must have a secret room hidden in here somewhere. That's what you're saying. This is just too. Lovely for the king's favourite. It's just his apartments, his tiny rooms, nothing more. <sighs> and, uh. <sighs> Doesn't really look like there's anything else in this room. Have this little dead end here, it's very odd. So if I'm looking for a switch of some kind or something. Aha! Oh, that's just money hidden there, okay. Oh wow, I forgot about getting loot when I... Just over two thirds of the way towards the loot goal, but we still have lots more to get. Hopefully there's lots on the uh, top floor. Behind there. <laughs> Behind the piano. I mean, this painting is suspicious and the... Pianos are always suspicious. Oh. Hmm. Well.
What if you play the can can instead? No? That's just weird. <sighs> what are we gonna do? What? Wait, these. Three things I have: the can can score, which is which I can't read anymore, DHFG and FDCF. They're all suggestive of codes. And in fact, if I find that let that note from William, change the code in the music lock. Uh, you know the interactions to all my compositions so well. Don't write it on your notes. So I need to find some music. And. Play it, I guess, but I guess this isn't one. I can't use these things together. Um, I don't have any other music, right? FTCF and DHFG are the only ones I got. I can't actually play them, and they're obviously the wrong ones. Because they do have the notes on them. And he said, don't do that again. Which means I need to search the King's Quarters again, I guess. To find another piece of music. Alright. Does that not open any further? It's, it's full of doors that don't seem to open all the way. Um... Let me get access to the third floor. Yes. Uh, let's go to the king's rooms. So, look for a piece of music hidden somewhere in the king's rooms. Oh, he's gone. In the king's study, right in, in that room, no doubt. How do I get in there? You know, that's a piece of music hidden behind your throne of thought. No. Above it on the top of your bed. <laughs> wow, that's fancy. But also, I'm not really supposed to be up here, clearly. That is an incredibly fancy bed. That is also an incredibly fancy side table. Someone might even think, uh, oh, watch table. Someone might even think the uh, king is rich. Get people to make a list for him. All right. Now he says I'm gonna candle that doesn't go out. I'm just gonna pull all these out, and I don't think it's gonna matter. I think it's irrelevant. Yep. I need to get in there. I don't know how. Well, this key doesn't work. This thing, I can pick the lock. Um, there's no visible thing, and it just seems to go on forever. 
And I get a feeling it's just resetting itself. Oh, it did unlock, okay.